Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy Nights. Uh, I'm your co-host Jamie McNichol and joining me from Melbourne is David. How are you going David? Yeah, good thanks Jamie. Uh, yeah, not a bad day here. No, it's very sunny here too David. We yeah. had a bit of lukewarm weather. Um, we got down to 10 degrees a couple of nights ago but it's all good. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie yeah. at the moment. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but David, I just do want to say you're wearing an ISERS t-shirt, and we're looking forward to that yeah. in about four weeks, five weeks time. Uh, it's about, Six. No, it's about maybe three, just over three weeks. Yeah, over three weeks, and I have to say this, um, just to run things off the week and that I'm coming over, it's the election poll for the South Australian government, so I have to do a postal vote. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair so enough. So it's all good. I'll I'll vote for myself. Um, <laughs> but no, um, I do want to do a recap. Um, we're not going to blush on. We're going to go straight into it. Um, but I'm going to recap. Um, Bruce Kulick, we want to thank Bruce Kulick for putting the last episode up, the interview on his website as well. So go to his website and check it out. And also go to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. We have over a thousand views already. It's only been three days since it's been put up. So to all the fans out there, thank you. And, um, the last week's, um, well, there you go, David, you're zooming in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, in your face from, um, from, that's better, Adrenaline and Mob, that song called In Your Face, yeah, it's just doing in your face, but no, um, I do want to say this, um, last week's results on our Facebook page of looking at the insights, we have reached over 27,000 people in the one week of postal posts and that have been reaching out there. Great numbers, David, great numbers. We're up, yeah. up 7,000% from last week, so it's all good. So. Cool. And um, a milestone, David, we hit, we hit over 600 likes on our Facebook page now, so it's all good. Sweet. But yeah, Thanks, if you haven't, everybody. Yes, thank you, everybody. And if you haven't seen our episode interview with Bruce Killick, we encourage you to go and do that and go and check out all the other episodes that we have done. But, David... Mm-hmm. We're going to jump straight into it. Um, yesterday, our time, about four o'clock yesterday afternoon, you and I were yeah. listening to the Eddie Trunk radio via the iHeart radio app on our internet, and mm-hmm. we had a former KISS member, Ace Frehley, join Eddie Trunk in the last hour of his show to give us an update and breaking world exclusive news on the whereabouts of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But I want to say this before we start. What we say here may get controversial, but it's only our opinion. But we're not here to bash Ace, Peter, Gene, Paul, or so forth, so forth. We're only going to voice our opinion. And if we're right, we're right. If we're wrong, we're wrong. But we will cop the slack if it comes to us. But I do want to say this. It may get controversial by what I will say or what David say or both. But... Take it as a pinch of salt. We do love the band, what it is, and so forth, so forth. But, David, um, mm-hmm. Ace Frehley made a comment, an announcement about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I want to ask you... Ba- and ba- yeah, basically, he said he, was, he and Peter were being shut out by Gene and Paul for play, to be playing at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with, with them. So, you know... <laughs> I mean, let's hope that can be turned around the next six weeks before, I mean, and they'll, they'll play, but if not, it is what it is. It is what it is, and I do want to say this. Um, we have been looking into it since we started talking about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and put our own predictions of what we like to see, and some yeah. of it has come to pass and some of it has not come to pass. But I do want to say this, before we start anything, I'm going back on to Paul Stanley's interview last week, or a couple of weeks ago, with Classic Rock Magazine. Bruce Kulick did mention that it was a great read, and he agreed what was said in that interview of Classic Rock Magazine about how Paul is not going to be honouring the award on behalf of the Hall. He's going to be honouring among the fans, Uh, because uh, we uh, the fans... Honouring for all of us. We, the fans, were the ones that voted in this fan poll thing that was made up with Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and that went towards the board members. Now, take in consideration, the board members didn't vote for KISS to be in, but the numbers spoke volumes. We were the highest, we were the highest 
ranked. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, uh, we um, came in one, number one yep. in the poll by put, for about t- ten to fifteen thousand votes. Yeah, over over Nirvana. So you know, it's but the, they, that, they, they could they couldn't ignore it any longer after that. Yeah, but I say that doesn't make make you a more of a fan or less of a fan if Kiss would have got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Me personally, no. no. no I'll, I'll still be a fan, fan of them until the day I fucking die. Yep. And going on to what Paul was saying in that Classic Rock magazine, nothing has been confirmed. They don't even know who's playing. They don't know what's going on. And a matter of fact, Paul said in the Classic Rock magazine, even him himself don't know if he was going to play at all. Yeah, it's. I mean, to me, even if they don't play, I mean, as I said to you before, maybe they have uh, the other bands or uh, that paying tribute to them uh, and playing Kiss songs and that together. And mate, if the band don't play at all, any lineup. Yeah, you know. But what gets more to <laughs> what gets more a bit concerning and yeah, there are some laugh and there's some stuff where I just want to bang uh, and, up against and, the wall and one, one, uh, uh, one thing I don't agree with people don't bother Shannon about this whole thing I mean she's not a member of the band yeah that's uh, what I was you about wanna, to say if you want to if, if you want to freaking if you've got a grievance with them direct it towards Jane and Paul not Shannon Shannon's not a member of the band for freak's sake. I wake up early this morning, David, and I saw exactly the same thing to you. Why in the hell would people go out their way to, one, verbally attack Shannon on her Twitter page yeah. about what was said yesterday about... And, and, a, and, on, and on her Facebook page, too. Yeah, well, they both linked up to one profile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But seriously, fans out there, pull your head out of your ass. Seriously, because... Okay, I get it. You have a favourite era or a favourite time. Yes, Kiss are going to be inducted as the four originals. That is not going to change. Me, personally, I like to see all members, past and present, yeah. to be inducted. Induct the yeah. band as a whole, due to the fact that when Metallica... I'm using Metallica as an example, when they were inducted as a whole, back in 2008... Now, mm. the Hall has their own rules and regulations of who they should induct and which members of the band should be invite, inducted in. Clear all that out of the way and induct the band as you see. It's like ACDC. Imagine if they just only induct the Bon Scott era. And we were talking about Dave Evans, who did the original song at the it start. Did, yeah, it did. A, it did a, they recorded a single with... Um... Uh, Dave Evans before the first ACDC album came out, so yeah. you know, yeah, so if if ACDC get, get I mean, inducted. Exactly right, and Paul was saying about Rush when they were inducted, and they didn't induct the original drummer. Mm. So I don't care, and I don't really care um, why the hall does it, but I do care about this. If you're going to make a museum about the band when you induct the induction for the night and they get inducted into duck the, the band yeah. yeah especially with the original members now that era before Peter left only lasted for six years so you're mm. taking that away from a 40 year period and then you add another five years from the reunion to the farewell mm. that's 11 years out of the 40 year anniversary or 40 mm. years that kids been around very minimal in my books so mm. to do it rightly Induct the band as a whole because if it wasn't for Eric Carr, there wouldn't have been their makeup error. Eric Eric Carr, well, people, uh, Vinnie Vincent thinks he saved the band. Uh, Eric Carr saved uh, saved them originally because I mean, of course, he, Peter was the first one to leave, mm. and he came in then. So, mm. you know, Eric Carr deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Of course. And so uh, should Bruce, Bruce Killick. Killick. Bruce Killick deserves to be in there. Eric Singer. Eric Singer deser- and deserves to be in there. The band 1991, wow. which 
which would make a uh, 23 years. So he learned since he first joined. So, and and I will go out there this to say, Tommy Say deserved to be in there because he's a workmanship. Now, I will the say work, this. Yeah, he did, yeah, he's been working with Kiss since the late 80s. Now, people are bashing on my war since what happened that are, you know, you've got two imposers playing. In, okay, I get it. It's been going on for fucking 14 years now, right? About the replacements of Peter and Ace with Eric and yeah. Tommy. I get, get that. Over it. I get over I get it. it. I get over it. The thing is, I'll, I'll put it straight out there. If you were asked by Gene or Paul or from Doc McGee or the management of KISS saying that we've got a tour of Japan and Australia for the farewell. Peter has left for so what reason it is, whether it's money or whatever, right? But we've got to put you in makeup and costume and play the cut man. Would mm. you do it? Now, Dan, I'd, had, Dan, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Those <laughs> people who say they won't do it, one, you're either lying, or two, you're full of shit. Mm. Because I can guarantee you there's plenty of drummers and guitarists out there that would die in a heartbeat to play for Kiss. Right? They've got a job to do. I understand that. They've got a job. They're paid to be a high gun, blah, blah, blah. Well, put it in more hindsight, Ace and Peter was a high gun when they first joined the band because they auditioned for the band. It was Gene and Paul's band from the get-go. They wanted to be something bigger that no one had seen before, but I will say this. For uh, I mean, okay, I, and I get where some people are saying it, at the start it was kind of like the equal partners type thing, but when, it, when they did come back in 1996, then it was more the hired guns type thing, uh, scenario than what it was at the start. Mm. Even because uh, Gene and Paul had carried on with the band for so long. Exactly. And, and yeah. this is another thing. People are saying, oh, oh, we want fans to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and boo the crap out of Paul and Gene. Okay. Go out there and do it and do the, exactly the same thing you did to Bruce Kulick and Eric Singer at the MTV Unplugged when they rejoined the band to play with Ace and Peter, and those fans were booing Bruce and Eric in the crowd. Now, these people say they're fans of KISS. All right, go out to this Hall of Fame induction, and I will dare you, these fans that have been posting up on my wall and all over the Facebook KISS group, boo them. Do it. Go out there and do it. If that's what makes you a KISS fan to boo Gene and Paul, because of what Ace has said on Eric Trunk Radio, go and boo him. If it makes you that happy, and it makes you happy to go and assault J- Shannon on her Twitter page or whatnot, do it. But be, be prepared for the backlash that will come back at you. Go and do it. If you want to hand in your KISS Army member b- m- membership, which I have heard... Uh, and I think that's fucking ridiculous. I've heard now that they're going to hand in their thing, that they're done with Kiss. Well, cool. Go and listen to One Direction and Justin Bieber. Go. We don't need you. If you want to... I understand people got their favourite era and their favourite moment and whatnot. But what about those fans that enjoy it for what it is and for who it is and the music and all that? Yeah, it, uh, above all, above all, the music's what yeah. we fell in love with in the first place yeah I mean it, it, all the rest of, the rest of what's been happening is just politics and I've never been you know like you know in for in, in cared about the freaking politics of Kiss even though we talk about it now who I cares mean, about the Rock and Roll yeah. but I am honoured to see Kiss no matter mm. what yeah. form way shape or who's in or who's not in from Kiss Mm. I take the name of Kiss and I'm saying, yes, my band is in there. Not the member, whether it's Ace, Gene, Paul, Peter, Ace, whatever. Kiss we is... St- I mean, we, we, we still love Ace and Peter. It's, yeah. And, and it's... Yeah, you know, we, 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 hope, we hope things can be worked out to a point mm. where it... where they do sort of go up to accept the award together, all four of them. 
Well, that's the thing I want to ask you, David. Towards the end of that thing, that interview with Ace yesterday, Ace did say that he might not go to the award. Now, what's your thoughts yeah. on that? Do you blame him? If, yeah. Ace is your it's, idol. Yeah, I, I know he's, uh, he always will be. Yeah. Um that's why my you know, if, if it's what hap- is happened, I don't blame him. He's pissed off. He sounded really upset. Um, I kind of, you know, don't blame him. He's, I mean, it, it happened with Van Halen where half the Van Halen didn't turn up when they got inducted. Yeah. Um, I hope it do- that doesn't happen with Keith. So they do end up, Ace and Peter end up showing up. Because it, it, if... Ace doesn't show up and bet your bottom dollar Peter won't either. Well, we haven't um, heard from Peter yet, but... Yeah, what, well, yeah, yeah. He ba- basically, he, when uh, they, Peter found out that he was going, Ace was going to go on Eddie's show, GG um, got in contact with him and said, you know, gave the blessing, you know, that they're in the same boat sort of thing. So I'm sure Peter had, do exactly the same thing as Ace and it would just be Gene and Paul now, I do going wanna, up there. Yeah, I do want to say a couple of things, David, and then I want your opinion again. Yeah. Um, we, we, we're open the table here, and we are talking about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but we are going to put a little bit of other things in, of the investigation that I have been investigating and also some stuff that David has heard. Now, there's two things, David. Uh, One, I'm hearing that Paul has a bit of a chip on his shoulder towards mainly Peter Chris. That's just probably one of the reasons why they're not going to play with the originals as well. There's a bit of a, a wedge stuck in between and that's been driven pretty deep lately than previously. And also, there's a rumour going around, and by all means, it's not from us, it's just something that I stepped the cross upon that a couple of summers ago there was a report going around saying Ace been trying to get back into the band of Kiss. Yeah. And this is another thing that... Can... I had kind of heard that rumour not more, not like long ago actually that he hmm. tried to do that but you, whether you believe it or not it's another thing. Yeah, as, Shannon, as Shannon said in that message on Facebook just before, you don't believe everything you read and hear about so, about the band. So the question so I want to ask, the question I want to ask, David, do you think Eddie Trunk is driving a wedge in between this lineup of Kiss compared and Ace and Peter? Uh, who 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 uh, who knows what Eddie's what Eddie's trying to do? Hmm. I mean, he's obviously he's got some sort of beef there with Gene and Paul. Yeah, oh, of course, because they won't join him on the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, as I said, I'm just hoping things can be worked out in the next six weeks and at least the, the original four go up and accept the award together. Hmm. Um, whether they play or not, I don't... To be honest, I don't really care if they play. <laughs> it would be, be awesome if they did. Yeah. But... In the end, uh, just knowing that they're finally being recognised by the establishment is more than enough yeah. for me. Well, the thing is, the catchphrase or the catchphrase that mainly Gene mm. and Paul use is the fans wanted us to play, we're here and we obey. Do you believe that statement? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it doesn't mean that they're always going to. You know, be with, as I said, with the that lineup that made that song. But as long as the band's there, well, in some sort of form, I mean, you know, I, I will say this: um, that statement alone, I tend I mean, to. I mean, a lot. Of, uh, it, mate, it's it's funny with this this band, how much you know controversy they create is around, is around it <laughs> when you go. To other bands that have had probably just as many lineup changes or yeah. more. Look at the Eagle. Uh, um, White Snake, Deep Purple. Megadeth. Yep. Um, 
Metallica. Hey, Meta- Metallica haven't had as, as many, but yeah, the, the, Van the, Halen had a lot. Uh, there's been so much vitriol around this band and certain lineups as I've ever seen. It's, mm. It turns ridiculous. I mean, it's it is what it is. I mean, kiss is kiss. Whatever. I mean, whatever lineup. Well, yeah, without Ace and Peter, Kiss wouldn't have been around at the start. Yes, they do. Yeah, and and, and, and Eric, and something that Eric Singer said back in '95, um, at the convention in Melbourne, in Melbourne, he said, "I'm here to continue on with the band, you know, and help and the still, band." And he's still been, and he's still been saying that till this day that he was yeah. trying to keep the magic alive, is trying to keep the spirit alive. Whether mm. he's playing the the cat man well, or whatnot. He's and when playing he's a job, play he's doing a role. Yeah. He's playing a role. Yeah. But is he copying he's a, Peter he's a great, Chris? He's a great drummer. Yeah. People are saying, oh, he's copying Peter Chris. No, he's fucking not. People are saying that Ace, um, Tommy is... He's comp- play, play basically, um, and it showed when they did the Unplugged, Peter was just playing basic beats, the basic <laughs> beats, where, I mean, he wasn't doing... Uh, Eric Fools. wasn't doing like over the top fills or anything, yeah. but he was doing more of the fills yeah. over the top of it as well. So, uh, and that's like Tommy. People saying, "Oh, he's copying an ace." No, he's fucking not. What? Because he's wearing his makeup and costume, he doesn't even look like Ace. Get over it. It's like what Bruce says. He doesn't look like Ace. I think no. now that Tommy had came out of his shell over the last couple of albums and started to show his technique. I liked Tommy when he was in black and blue. Yeah. Right? He was great. I mean, I bought you that yeah. um, CD. That yeah, yeah they the, did. the black and blue live album. Yeah. yeah from Detroit. That's, yeah. And you also got the DVD they did in Japan, I believe. Yeah. We'd seen that, and he was having fun. Now, yeah, okay, it might be limited in Kiss because it's the way it is. They've got to play a certain way, but he's no way frailly. He's Tommy Thayer. Mm. You know? But yeah. I get it. I mean, what I was about to say is that if Ace and Peter didn't join the band at the start, there would never have been a kiss. I get that. They are more important to the next guy that's in the band. Right? Yeah. But I will say this. It was always Gene and Paul's band from the get-go. Ace yeah. and Peter were hired hands. But the thing is... The hired hands, but more yeah. equal, more equal partners in the there in were the early four days. members cruising to a certain goal that they wanted to achieve. When a live came out, that's when things start to break out. When they start to get more money involved and started to do the comic books and the yeah. movie, things just fell apart. And Peter Chris has said it a few times that around Destroyer, Ace Frehley wasn't around because he was too out of it at the time. Yeah, and that's when they um, sort of started bringing in other guitar players to yeah. uh, to play on Destroyer. Yeah. So they I had think... Dick, Wa- Dick Wagner to play on some of the couple of tracks. And to tell the truth, I couldn't care less who's playing the drums, who's playing the guitar, who's playing bass. I mean, I've yeah. heard the story that there's some songs or some albums, Gene's not playing the bass, and they've got Eric Carr playing bass and I Still Love You, and blah, blah, blah. It's but still a Kiss album. It's still a Kiss album. It's like when I bought Psycho Circus the day on my birthday in 98 even though yeah. it was supposed to be released on the 22nd of September I actually got got that album on the 21st on my birthday in 98 I cranked that in and I'm saying ooh this is an album that's a cross between Revenge and Carnival of Souls it just fits straight in between them because and, and, you got that and heavy dis- riff and from dis- and, dis- and Destroyer as well yeah. there's a little bit of a and then I knew that when I played it back again, that wasn't Ace mm. playing the, the guitar, that was somebody yeah. else. And I couldn't care less. But people are bringing up all these things like, you got to know who's playing the... No, I don't need to know who's playing the guitar. Why? Because it's bloody Kiss. I don't, couldn't care less who's playing the freaking song. It's Kiss. Mm. And this is where someone's saying, oh, what will happen if all the members, well, Gina Paul leave, and it'll just be a full-pledged tribute band. I'll still follow them. It'll be different, but I'll still follow them. Yeah. You know? I mean, and yeah. Jan, and, Jan and Paul will probably be still there behind the scenes anyway, pulling and, strings. You know, it is what it is, but I want to go... And they, they possibly could still... 
even if they do retire from live playing with the band, may still write songs, some of the songs. And here's another funny thing, David, um, from what happened out yesterday, that people I want to sell their freaking Kiss memorabilia. And I was making <laughs> a joke, I was making a joke up on my Facebook page. Yeah, send, How many send, f- send, send, them, send some our way. Yeah, send them our way. <laughs> if you don't want it, it, fucking we'll pay for it. But the thing is, if you're done with Kiss because of what's happened, well, there's nothing we can do. You know, if you don't want to follow Kiss, well, fine, find another band or find another disco band rap artist like. to follow. Yeah. Go and follow the freaking bus stop boys or whatever, I don't care. But why has this become such a big controversial thing? Because Ace has said... Now, did it surprise you that Ace came out and said this? No. Uh, I knew something. I knew, like when he said, oh, I've got an announcement to make regarding the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Even before, I thought, oh, oh here we go. This is going to be something... I knew there was yeah. something down the line that right. either Gene or Paul had some hands in the pudding and pulling the strings here, and people are blaming Paul that he wants to run it his way. Well, put yourself in Paul's shoes. You've been playing in the band for 40 years, but you're only going to be shown as... Like as I said, the original, original members. Yeah. And you've got to take it in consideration that he wants the band to be inducted as a whole. Yeah, and every all the members like Bruce and Eric, Bruce and Eric sing, uh, Carr, and Vinny and, and Mark Eric, John. Eric, sing, Eric, Eric Singer and Tommy Thayer. Yeah, you know. Now whether you and people are saying, oh, but they're going to induct in as original members. The original should play. Well, the funny thing about all this is, the Hall of Fame has agreed to it. Mm. That's yeah. the thing that made, missing out. The Hall of Fame in, has agreed to allow this lineup to play because they want Kiss in makeup and costume. At the start, yeah. they wanted the four original members in makeup and costume, and hopefully they'll play together. Because a... uh, I think Paul's comments in Classic Rock were um, when he said he turn. might not turn up mm. is because he's insisting that maybe insisting that the current lineup play. Mm. And they were originally not going to let, let that happen. Hmm. And that's why he's saying more stuff that I might not turn up. Exactly. And the Hall knows they need Kiss in there to bring the fans back into the into the Yeah, they, 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 they need... They need the money. If, if Kiss were not to turn up, um, it would be a disaster. The Hall of Fame induction would be a disaster. Will they do what Guns N' Roses did, like have the band turn up but not the lead singer? <laughs> well, we could, it looks like we could be facing up, um, the band turn, Kiss turning up with only half the original members. Hmm. We don't know, but um, as I've said, I hope things can be worked out to where a point where Ace and Peter do turn up uh, to at least accept the award. Uh, you know, check in the induction into the Hall of Fame. Well, we even do... if the ba- even if Kiss, no, none, no one from Kiss plays, and they have other bands playing the Kiss songs hmm. uh, as a tribute to the band, uh, I think that w- that could would work actually. For me, it would. Yeah. Uh, seeing other artists playing Kiss songs, hmm. um, you know, you know, maybe not having Kiss play themselves. Well, true, and then I just... It'd be interesting to see what other people, other artists' interpretation of, say, Detroit Rock City or or Rock and Roll or Not or Love Gun or anything like that, you know? Well, what about the guitar player from Russ when they had the induction? All he did was free, free yeah, man, like, blah, uh, blah, 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 blah. I can see that happening too. Uh, no, I don't think that'll happen. I don't think Kiss would do that. I do. Just... That, that, that was fun. That I must say, that was funny when I heard that happen. Apparently, um, uh, Getty Lee and Neil P- Peart um, didn't know him. did didn't know that Alex was going to do that, no. and they're just they're just sitting in the back behind me going, "What the hell?" <laughs> and they were, actually, I think they wanted to. <laughs> they wanted to hit him over. But the thing is, um. 
I, before this announcement was um, was coming up on the radio, um, I put up a status that Kiss should play Thou Shalt Not from Revenge about kissing my ass. Now, yeah. our good friend Rachel Charver said that was a religious song. Yeah, I know it's a religious song, but if you take the religion thing out of it and change it into making it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is basically trying to tell Kiss to kiss the ring on their hand. Yeah. And it kind of reconsidered of the like they say, "Oh, Kiss will never yeah. make it," and blah blah blah. Well, well, they have. <laughs> what about the way? Well, if you change the lyrics, concept, story of it to the Hall of Fame, kindly reconsider your sins off your path. I say, "Mister, you can kindly kiss my ass." Why don't they turn around and say to the Hall of Fame, "Just kiss mm. our ass. We never needed you. We never wanted you. We don't care what uh, you think." I- I wouldn't be surprised if there would be something like they'll they'll thank everybody and thank the fans and thank everybody that's been in the band, but also give a backhander to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> in it, it, to be yeah. honest, I, I could see Paul actually doing that. And Jane, I can see both doing yeah, it. Yeah. But we do know this. Here's an update. We do know this that Bruce Kulick will be there. Yep, be and told, also be I do know that Steve Cornell will be there. He's looking for a yep. date. <laughs> no, I well. said I'll be your date if you send the ticket my way. He'll pay for the. T- apparently, he said he's going to pay for the plane ticket and stuff if he can find the right woman. But yeah, but no. Yeah. Um, Steve Cornell is going to be there. Um, Paul said he will be there. Gene said he will be there. Whether or not they'll go up and accept the award or do whatever. Who knows what? I, I, I'm sure they'll end up going up and accepting it. Um, People uh, are saying, now check this out, David. I know this is going to bore your blood, and I reckon it's stupid what some of these fans are saying. People are saying that when they come out with the lineup they've got today, Kiss, they should mm. have Peter and Ace there to intimidate the shit out of them. Yeah, that's uh, stupid. It, uh, and Ace has said here if they. He won't go up there and play with with um, Eric and Tommy in the makeup at all. Uh, he said that yesterday. And he said again. that previously as well, yeah? Yeah. On the other episode. He'll not of... do it. Yeah. So, whether we get the... Um, to be honest, I, don't, I hope that the band doesn't play at all. Oh, uh, I don't. It's going to be like I that. T- I uh, said that. I said just that. I go, said... just go up and accept the award yep. for in, on behalf of us fans, and, fuck and then off. maybe get other bands to pay tribute to them, like a, I, I MTV just, Rock Icons. I could see this also happening. They can do a private gig on their own, on the on the outskirts of New York City, a private gig. They, they, they've been known to do that lately. They've done one for the fashion show and whatnot. But yeah. I reckon what they'll probably do is, well, you're right, accept the ward and leave. I reckon they'll probably do a private show somewhere, mm. a private gig of about 200, 300. All the intimate yeah. fans and, you know, the fans and the record company executive and just have a little get-together of the band 40 years and just do a little private gig. I, I see that happening. But, yeah, as we, I mean, as Paul said on Twitter, we don't know, we've got no idea what they they're currently planning, and as so Shannon, this also... said today, Shannon said today, that um, don't always believe what you hear and read, and, and mm. hopefully things can be turned around. That you know, Six Ace weeks. and Peter are there, and somehow there'll be some sort of performance. Um, even though I just said that. Well, you know, do that... you think they could also tarnish their induction altogether? Oh. It, I think it could, but uh, if I mean it's already sort of tarnishing it right now. But uh, I just hope that they, you know, it is what it is, and I'll, uh, you know, I'll still, you know, it'd be great to see it. You know, as it's more about the band as a whole. So uh, to me, I'm just glad that the Kiss is finally in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Whatever freaking lineup it is, yeah. It, I mean, Kiss is finally being ex- acknowledged by the establishment, and they've never been abandoned about the establishment. And people are saying, <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot 
that came through yesterday. People were saying, oh, Kiss have never been worried about making hits on the last two studio albums. There weren't many hits on there. And I'm saying, well, when has Kiss have ever considered to be a, looking for hits no, on no, an album? No, no band has ever written an album for looking, hits. For, for, looking for hits. If they... If they yeah. If they wanted you to be write, a hit... Just, you just write, write songs to, to be happy with in yourself. Uh, yeah. of what what you're writing if, well, if you have if... With, the, with the songs yourself then people come along and l- may like it too you know well you're not necessarily going to write a song about a prostitute and make it a hit out of it are you uh, no, <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know especially off the first album nothing to lose I'm talking about anal sex is that going to be a hit song <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think they got banned from being being on radio or something, I think, yep, too. exactly. Exactly right. And and, and we will go on that. Um, 40 years um, on the yeah. 18th a couple of days ago, five days ago, actually, yeah. it was 40 yep. years off the first album. It was, I it's mean, still uh, standing uh, the test of time now, and most of the songs are still played in concerts as we speak. And so. it's good to hear that album played in full last weekend. For me, uh, as you know, I went to... Uh, a show here in Melbourne at the Cherry Bar where they played the whole uh, first Kiss album in its entirety, including Kiss and Time, Love Theme from Kiss, all those ones as well. It was good to hear uh, and celebrate the um, the first album, 40 years of uh, Kiss recorded Kiss music. Yeah. And I know it was packed and I haven't oh, seen any yeah. photos yet. Because no one can took any photo because they were too bloody packed. No, everyone bumping into uh, each too, other. Too, yeah, too packed and yeah. And that, but um, congratulations to Kiss for um, 40th yeah. anniversary of that first album. But um, yep. there's something that came up just about a, two hours ago that of Gene and Paul's head, and they, you know, they're still playing songs of Shock Me and Deuce and all those, but yeah. they won't have Ace and Peter up. Forget about it, people. Listen, if Gene and Paul are an arsehole in this, well, at least they're doing something right. If they're doing it right. At least they're getting... They've been playing as an arsehole for 40 years. They get over it. What's new? They've been an arsehole for 40, 50 years. They don't care. Because... They've got got to be happy with them themselves. Exactly. And... Uh, uh, I will say this. Why... 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 If they've got beef with somebody, uh, you've got to be happy with what you're doing before you can project it out and be have everybody else happy with you. Exactly, and I will say this. Put yourself in Paul's position when he was to go into Gene in the reunion after the MTV, saying, oh, we're going to play with Peter and Ace for the... Re- Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Playing with Peter and Ace... Gene was adamant that he didn't want it to happen. He said, no, 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 I don't want it to happen. And Paul was saying, no, come on, Gene, it's going to be great, it's going to be great. Well, he bit his own words because the demons came back in, the same crap went through the back door. Mm. Now, Paul doesn't want this to happen, but Gene does. But I will say this, before the Kiss crew last year and before Kiss got even inducted in, Gene was saying that he doesn't want to play on the stage with Paul and uh, Peter and Ace. And then he said, yes, they will be there, blah, blah, blah. But who knows what's going on behind it all? We don't I... know. It's not, it, well, it's, yeah, it's not over until it's over. And it, I mean, we'll find out on April the 10th when... Yeah. And when another thing. Top... And another thing. With this statement about... The, the fans want us to play we're here and we're bait. Do you really think after 40 years that the Kiss machine's been listening to the fans? Of course not. They, we they, wanted... in, in, in some part, they... In some they parts, do, I have. They, they do, but in the end, they've got to be happy with what they're doing first. You know, we want, we want songs to be played in a set list and that, but those songs don't. It's like last week, and we were going to talk about... Right, um... Yeah, what... Bruce had, we all entitled to our own opinion, and everyone had their own expectations. But when those expectations do not meet, be respectful that 
the reason why some of these expectations do not get met, there may be a reason behind it. You know, we yeah. don't always get what we want. And that has taught me a lot this week, David. I mean, about... I mean we're, 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 people would just be happy that the, the band's still around. Yep. A lot of band, a lot of bands don't freaking last forty years. Yep. Uh, I mean, especially with less, like the same lineup anyway. Yep. Rolling Stones, Rolling Stones didn't last. Well, how many lineup 40 changes? Years, forty years with the the original lineup. Does yep. everybody go on bullshit? You know, Mick Jagger and, and Keith Richards that Mick Jones's or Mick Taylor's <laughs> was, wasn't in the band and all that sort of crap. And guess what, David? This is what makes me laugh. As soon as they come on tour, they buy a fucking ticket to see them. Mm. I mean, the Adelaide Oval, right? It's official opening for Adelaide Oval. The first band that's playing there is the Rolling Stones for the 50th anniversary tour. Within yeah. 15 minutes, it's sold out. Now, mm. they're releasing new tickets in a couple of weeks' time. I have another release of general admission tickets and whatnot. But I agree with you. They always arcing up and saying, oh, it's not the original members or the different lineup and that. Right. Cool. But they're the same people that go out and buy these fucking tickets or merchandise or whatever it is. If you yeah. don't like the band, fuck off and find another band to like or bash about. If you don't like it, okay, I understand. It's not there for everyone to like. You don't have to like everything Kiss does or Rolling Stone yeah, does. Yeah, and don't... don't bash us for like yeah. uh, and you know the fans that do like the current lineup. I mean I do yeah. uh, I just, I'm just glad that the band's still around so I can see them play well it's like I searched David how many drummers have been through uh, dr- uh, members in total you mean <laughs> yeah well members in total yeah. sorry they're, yeah. actually, they're, they're probably have more members in, their, in the band than what Kiss has I mean yeah. to people uh, oh well, it's not, it's not Ice Death because John Greeley isn't on vocals. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. it's like my partner. Give you know a... my partner, Dave, and my wife-to-be. Mm. We're going to be married. Mm. Yeah. Oh, newsflash. We're going to be married on the 30th of August. Um, we had to book it in because the priest, who is Shay's father, had told us on Wednesday that we had to lock in our date, so we had to do that. But fans... Yeah. Um, I'm getting married on the 30th of August, but say that. Um, All right. Going I'll back be to my talking partners. to you more about this off air too. Yeah, yeah. But my partner, who's like Nightwish, they've changed yeah. three singers. Now, there was a bit of a backlash over when Taj first left, and there was a bit of a backlash when Annette was fired from the band. But when Floor came in, she got a little bit at the start, but it's died down. There hasn't been a much backlash going for Nightwish lately and we saw Nightwish last year and there was a bit of Twitter war at the venue when we were lining up but it died down but they don't get as much shit with fucking what Kiss I'll I'll say this Kiss has got the most controversial fans probably in the world Mm. you know yeah it's not about you don't get this enough like even Black Label Society I mean they've just changed members recently, and yeah, there hasn't like been as. I mean, it hasn't. That, there's hasn't been the controversy over like Kiss has. No. Pe- people are sad, still sad that say Nick Cannon East left Black Label and all that, but it, it is nowhere been the amount of controversy that over that than what Kiss is. I mean, and I think I know why though. And they're they're, pa- they're passionate. Yeah. And, Tell you now, black label fans, include which includes myself. Yep. Uh, I mean, there's not so much bullshit. Mm. And that... we know why the bullshit, David, is because of some makeup. We know that. Yeah. You know, you didn't fuck. Well, these fans didn't arc up when Ace and oh, not Ace and Peter when Eric Carr came. Oh, that's because mm. they had their own persona. But really, did that persona work? It was only around for three years. Mm. And how many tours do they do in that persona? Two. Especially Vinnie uh, Vincent, one. Yeah. yeah. The persona didn't actually go on for long enough. I mean, we love Eric Carr. God rest his soul. Yeah. But seriously, he only played two tours in that makeup. 
Vinnie yeah. Vincent played only one. It didn't... Mm. No one gave it a test of time. And also, the kids were on their running their last legs in those in that time as well. They were running. Yeah. And, you know, it was a time when they had to take the makeup off. People were saying, well, why don't they take the makeup off now? Well, I can just tell you the reason why they won't do it. It's a marketing brand now. It's a mm. marketing thing. That's the reason why they put the makeup back on in the reunion, because they knew the market was going to sell. And also, Kiss was basically going down the gurgle around 96, they running out of money. Mm. So they needed something, and putting the makeup on, they knew it was a big spender, and it's been here to stay. Who cares that Tommy and Eric is in the makeup? They're doing yeah. a job. Mm. Eric will get off the stage, and I can guarantee you, when he gets off that stage, he wants to play another gig. Yeah, he's such you know? an energetic guy. Yeah, like an energizer. <coughs> yeah. You know? But, fans, if you want to turn away from our podcast because of what we're talking about, who cares? Go. We don't We don't care. But if you want to hand in your memorabilia, uh, hand your memorabilia up, give it to Dave and I. We'll gladly take it. If you want to hand in your memorabilia, your membership, your Kiss Army membership, all means do that too. We don't care. But if you're going to sookie la la about because of what Ace said, well, do it. Do and, it in your and, own and, time. And I, still, I still love Ace and, and, you know, I'm still going to support Ace till the till he decides to hang, hang up the guitar and all that and not play anymore. And I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to his new album. Um, he's, well, he said he was working with, with um, Kevin Cherko, yep. who um, we, who did the Ozzy Osbourne Black Rain album. Hmm. Um, so it should be interesting. Um, it should be good. Also, get onto a positive, Dave, and I've yeah. been asked to plug this. Yep. Todd Howarth and John Reagan had joined yeah, forces again. Right. I, I was when I saw that I thought awesome. Yeah, you know, um, four and by instead, fate. Instead, Howland who um, who played with Wasp. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Wasp. He played. He was in Wasp. He played on the Crimson Idol tour, I believe. The original Crimson Idol tour. And Sean Kelly. Um, Sean Kelly. Yeah. I know he he played on the 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 World with Heroes uh, Mitch Fonz mm. World with Heroes tribute set. What's he? What's his background as far as? I think he played a lot with um, similar role. What he'd done, I th- I did see the interview that um, it was done by Mitch Fonz just a couple of weeks ago. But of course, it's early hours. Was just hit up, and then my brain's just been blank because of what's been happening in the last 24 hours, but if you can yeah. just look that up on um, Sean Kelly, um, I'm not saying I don't know Sean Kelly, just my mind yeah. is blank and whatnot, but I've been told to plug it in and to help people go to 4 by Fate it's featuring Todd Howarth and John Reagan, Sean Kelly and that other member you just mentioned, David uh, Stet Howland, yeah Stet Howland Go there. Um, they're in the recording process of doing um, and, and, and rehearsals. It's not, it's, not, it's not Sean Kelly, the Australian musician, either. No, it's American. Mm. <laughs> um, they are planning a tour and some gigs up in America. I did pump out to Todd Howard two nights ago, come to Australia, and we will be there, David, with our bells on. So who knows? They might head to Australia. Who knows? Wait, what did, what did Todd say? Nothing. <laughs> um, I think you're keeping it as a surprise but it's all on the early days yet but they've got a lot of work cut out for them they're doing some rehearsals in the studio and yeah, cutting, down some tracks, music. cutting down some tracks and whatnot. But uh, hang on it's actually people if you go to 4 by 4 by Fates um, Facebook page there is a video of Todd playing his keyboards there it says just a very little something while going over tunes today. Struggles. Great so from the Wi-Fi, no fools. Yeah, it looks. It's um, yeah, he's playing some song. I'll, I'll have a listen to it when I we get up there. I think you put up a teaser yesterday before this Ace 
um, interview with, it had oh, over. Shit. No, it was actually put up 42 minutes ago. Yeah, but he put a teaser up about this. He was playing a song. He was going to do a video that had the word uh, over in it. I think it was. it's over now. Yeah, I think they may, you know, redo, I don't know. It sounds like they, they will be playing some Freelys Comet yep. stuff and all, which should be cool. But, well, um, especially the ones that Todd wrote too. So that'll be good. Yeah, well, like of course they can do that. And, you know, whether they play any WAF stuff, <laughs> I don't know, I doubt it. Well, yeah, uh, they can because Todd, Todd music lately been pretty heavy. They can do. Yeah, WAF. but where, whether they they do play anything from Crimson Isle, because don't know whether Todd can sing like Blackie Lawless. Well, it might uh, do somebody else to sing in the band. Uh, no. I'll, yeah, I don't think don't know whether anybody can sing like Blackie. Um, don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I know, but to to make it sound good, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, but no, that'd be a great band. I'm looking forward to hearing stuff from them. Yeah, so go to Four by it's, Fate Facebook page and tell them I'll, that we'll put we'll put it up we'll put a link up again to Four by Fate on our Facebook page, people. So if you want to, you don't know where to go we'll put just go to our page and we'll put up a link to 4 by fates and just some breaking news David just between you and we're going to say it on air um I did say to John how John Reagan you know congratulations on getting the band together and we'll love to have you back on and they're going to come back on sweet so we might get 4 by fate on our show so cool just might do it for, as a side project that we've been working on but if they do it for this show well means more the merrier but I think that will wrap it up. Um, we've been copying a lot of flack over the last couple of, especially myself and my war, about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But I just love to stir things up and keep everyone on their toes and whatnot. Yeah. But um, you got to you got to look at it this way. I'm a, I'm a joker. I love doing it. But I don't hate Peter. I don't hate Ace. No, uh, we uh, Peter, uh, Jamie, even me. I I love, still love after all that's gone on with this band. Yep. I still love still love Ace and Peter as much as I ever did. It's, you know, yep. things things happen for a reason. Um, you know, it doesn't doesn't mean that we like like them any less. No, but also we got a shout out from Kiss fan, Kiss Army Iceland because we made a shout out last Ooh. episode. Awesome. They say thank you for giving yep. them a shout out on the last episode. We're we're honoured to to do that shout out for you and anybody else that wants us to do a shout out please let us know and we'll put you up on the next show and whatnot if we can get around to it and that but <coughs> please all mean go to our Facebook page Crazy Nights for the Australian Kids Podcast go there go and, to our and support, it, support our support our page and support our good friends over at East Coast Kids Tribute yeah, East Coast Tribute, oh. we've been showing their episodes every week, um, or yep. every episode that they've made, so go over yep. their page and give them a bit of a boost as well. Also, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to us at Crazy Nights 1 YouTube channel. We've got a new layout now, and people love it, David. That's probably what boosts up the thing. They love our new layout and the new look that we've got, the intro and outro and all these mm-hmm. little things. They love it. So, cool. Hellzig. The fan that did that, thank you once again. Um, Thanks, brother. Also, go to our Twitter page at Crazy Nights One at Twitter, and Bruce Killick has tweeted that episode on there as well, and we retweeted already. And yeah, like I said, we're over a thousand views already, and keep it growing, guys, and keep showing your support. And we are up on Spreaker again, and we're going back onto iTunes as well. So, getting everything back up to where it was before with a brand new layout. And also, we'll say this, there's going to be, in about five, six months' time, a brand new website that will be launched for Crazy Nights. I'm in the process mm-hmm. of doing it, and let yeah. me tell you something, it's looking phenomenal. It's only early days yet, but when we launch it and set it live show, around... Show, show, give us a look before. <laughs> yeah, we will. I can't do you... it here because it's in the office back in the city, yeah. but... Yeah. um. When I put it up, you'll get the first look, David, I've always... Send us a link through email or something. Show I'll us. probably take a photo of it. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll take a photo of it because um, the way the setup is in the office. Cool. You know, and that, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. 
Yeah. But you'll like it, and also there'll be another website that we are working on as well, and a lot of things are happening, but we're taking it slowly since our rest day. I'm not doing any homework, what they say. I'm not doing anything today. It's just kicking back and relaxing. Mm. But yeah, that's our intake of the review of the Freely announcement. Um, if you like it, like it. If you, if you don't like it, don't like it. But leave your comments as always and share your opinions and your thoughts about it. I know there's a lot of opinions been going around the book. But yeah, just be happy that kids are in there. That's all we can say. But anyway, mm. Dave, I think we better wrap this up. It's a wrap. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. join us next week if we talk more about KISS. So catch it up. See you later, people. There you go. It's and induct the band as you see. It's like ACDC. Imagine if they just only induct the Bon Scott era. And we were talking about Dave Evans, who did the original song at the did, start. Yeah, it did. A, it did a, they recorded a single with... Um, uh, Dave Evans before the first ACDC album came out, so yeah. you know, yeah, so if they, ACDC they can, get I mean, inducted. Exactly right. And Paul was saying about Rush when they were inducted, and they didn't induct the original drummer. Mm. So I don't care, and I don't really care um, why the hall does it, but I do care about this. If you're going to make a museum about the band when you induct the induction for the night and they get inducted into the, the band yeah. yeah especially with the original members now that era before Peter left only lasted for six years so you're mm. taking that away from a 40 year period and then you add another five years from the reunion to the farewell mm. that's 11 years out of the 40 year anniversary or 40 mm. years that kids been around very minimal in my books so mm. to do it rightly induct the band as a whole because if it wasn't for Eric Carr there wouldn't have been their makeup error. Eric Eric Carr well people uh, Vinnie Vincent thinks he saved the band uh, Eric Carr saved uh, saved them originally because I mean of course he, Peter was the first one to leave mm. and he came in then so mm. you know Eric Carr deserves to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame of course. And so uh, Bruce, Bruce Kulick. Kulick. Bruce Kulick deserves to be in there. Eric Singer. Eric Singer deser- and deserves to be in there. The band 1991. Wow. Which... We have been looking into it since we started talking about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and put our own predictions of what we like to see. And yeah. some of it has come to pass and some of it has not come to pass. But I do we... want to say this. Before we start anything... I'm going back on to Paul Stanley's interview last week, or a couple of weeks ago, with Clucky Rock Magazine. Bruce Kulick did mention that it was a great read, and he agreed what was said in that interview of Clucky Rock Magazine about how Paul is not going to be honouring the award on behalf of the Hall. He's going to be honouring among the fans, Uh, because uh, we uh, the fans... Honouring for all us. We the fans were the ones that voted in this fan poll thing that was made up with Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and that went towards the board members now take in consideration the board members didn't vote for KISS to be in but the numbers spoke volumes we were the highest we were the highest rank oh, yeah uh, yeah. Well, we um, came in one, number one yep. in the poll by for about 10 to 15,000 votes yeah. over, over Nirvana so you know it's but they, they, mean, they, could, they couldn't ignore it any longer after that. Yeah. But I say that, does it make, make you a, more of a fan or less of a fan if Kiss would have got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Me, personally, uh, no. No, I'll, I'll still be a fan, fan of them until the day I fucking die. Yeah. And going on to what Paul was saying in that Classic Rock magazine, nothing has been confirmed. They don't even know who's playing. They don't know what's going on and a matter of fact Paul said in the Classic Rock magazine even him himself don't know if he was going to play at all yeah it's I mean to me <coughs> even if they don't play I mean as I said to you before maybe they have uh, the other bands or uh, that paying tribute to them 
uh, and playing Kiss songs and that together and mate, if the band don't play mm. at all any lineup. Yeah. You know? But what gets more to <laughs> what gets more a bit concerning and yeah, there are some laugh and there's some stuff where I just want to bang uh, and, up against and, the wall. And one one oh, oh, one thing I don't agree with people don't bother Shannon about this whole thing. I mean, she's not a member of the band. Yeah, that's and what I was wanna, about to say. If you want to, if, if you want to, freaking, if you've got a grievance with them, direct it towards Jean and Paul, not Shannon. Shannon's not a member of the band. <laughs> for freak's sake! I wake up early this morning, David, and I saw exactly the same thing to you. Why in the hell would people go out their way to mm. one? verbally attack Shannon on her Twitter page yeah. about what was said yesterday about and, the and, so, and, on, and on her Facebook page too yeah well they both linked up to one profile yeah. mm-hmm. but seriously fans out there pull your head out of your ass seriously because okay I get it you have a favourite error or a favourite time yes Kiss are going to be inducted as the four originals that is not going to change me personally I like to see all members past and present yeah. to be inducted induct the yeah. band as a whole due to the fact that when Metallica I'm using Metallica as an example when they were inducted as a whole back in 2008 now mm. the hall has their own rules and regulation of who they should induct and which members of the band should be invited, inducted in clear all that out of the way and, so, cool. and um a milestone, David, we hit. We hit over 600 likes on our Facebook page now, so it's all good. Sweet. But yeah, Thanks, everybody. Yes, thank you, everybody. And if you haven't seen our episode interview with Bruce Killick, we encourage you to go and do that and go and check out all the other episodes that we have done. But, David, mm-hmm. we're going to jump straight into it. Um, yesterday, our time, about 4 o'clock t- yesterday afternoon, you and I were yeah. listening to the Eddie Trunk radio via the iHeart radio app on our internet and mm-hmm. we had a former KISS member Ace Frehley join Eddie Trunk in the last hour of his show to give us an update and breaking world exclusive news on the whereabouts of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame but I want to say this before we start what we say here may get controversial but it's only our opinion but we're not here to bash Ace, Peter, Gene, Paul or so forth so forth we're only going to voice our opinion, and if we're right, we're right. If we're wrong, we're wrong. But we will cop the slack if it comes to us. But I do want to say this. It may get controversial by what I will say or what David say or both, but just take it as a pinch of salt. We do love the band, what it is, and so forth, so forth. But, David, um, mm-hmm. Ace Frehley made a comment, an announcement about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I want to ask you... Hey, and I've, yeah, basically he said he was, he and Peter were being shut out by Gene and Paul for play to be playing at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with with them. So you know, I mean, let's hope that can be turned around in the next six weeks. For I mean, and they'll they'll play, but if not, it is what it is. It is what it is, and I do want to say this. Um... Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy Nights. Uh, I'm your co-host Jamie McNichol, and joining me from Melbourne is David. How are you going, David? Yeah, good. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, yeah, not a bad day here. No, it's very sunny here too, David. We yeah. had a bit of lukewarm weather. Um, we got down to ten degrees a couple of nights ago, but it's all good. That's why I'm wearing a hoodie yeah. at the moment. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But David, I just do want to say you're wearing an ISOS t shirt and we're looking forward to that yeah. in about four weeks, five weeks time. Uh, it's about Six. No, it's about maybe three just over three weeks. Yeah, over three weeks and I have to say this, um, just to run things off, the week and that I'm coming over, it's the election poll for the South Australian government, so I have to do a postal vote. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair so enough. So it's all good, I'll I'll vote for myself. Um, <laughs> but no, um, I do want to do a recap. Um, we're not going to blush on. We're going to go straight into it. Um, but I'm going to recap. Um, Bruce Kulick, we want to thank Bruce Kulick for putting the last episode up 
the interview on his website as well, so go to his website and check it out. And also go to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. We have over a 1,000 views already. It's only been three days since it's been put up. So to all the fans out there, thank you. And um, the last week's... Um, well, there you go, Dave. You're zooming in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's... Uh... In your face from... Um, from That's better. Adrenaline and Mob, that song called In Your Face. Yeah. It's just doing In Your Face. But no, um, I do want to say this. Um, last week's results on our Facebook page of looking at the insights, we have reached over 27,000 people in the one week of postal posts and that have been reaching out there. Great numbers, David. Great numbers. We're up, yeah. up, up 7,000% from last week, so it's all good. 